What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. My name is Corey, and today we're going to be going over the top three drops in Talk Like a Pirate Day for 2016. Let's get in to the video. What's going on? Okay, so we are back. And for our first drop, we're going to go for this helmet right here. It is the Vampire Scarf. Uh, hair and Scarf. All these items are AC items, uh, which means they drop from mobs, but they are AC items, which you can store them in your bank for free. And I'm picking the three of my favorite, uh, the three that I think you should get. If you're not, if you're just going to play TLVPD a little bit and not go for all the items, but only a few, these are the ones you should definitely go for. Uh, so this is the Hair and Scarf. Alternatively, there's one with just the scarf. That's a drop from the quest right there. Uh, the huge bounties turn in, uh, the vampire turn in. Uh, that's a reward for that. And it also has the beads on there. This one does not have the beads, but it does come with a scarf, which looks really cool in game. It's on my character right now. I can swap armors here to show you uh, the difference. So here's what it looks like with no armor. So, of course, your face gets replaced, so there's no face on the armor, which is good or bad, depending on uh, whatever armor you're wearing. Sometimes, like, uh, you don't want to have the white-out eyes like you do on the light caster here, so it would be nice to have a face thing there. But I'm guessing most people like that the armor changes your face like that. So, it's depending on the armor, what, uh, what the face looks like, and that's pretty cool. So, it goes good with a lot of armors. It does cover up the top part, kind of like a... Uh, a red hunting hood would uh, but I like that about it there's not a lot of armors that do that uh, so let's go and get the armor I'll show you where to get it not the armor the helmet I'll show you where to get the helmet all right to get the helmet you want to come here click on this guy go to the war uh, join the midnight war you will have to play through the quest here to get to the war of course once you get here you can skip the cutscene I've already seen that a billion times and if you want the version without the scarf, you have to do turn-ins for the vampires right here. Uh, just do those turn-ins and it'll drop from, it's a random drop from doing a turn-in. Uh, so you can get that way. And other than that, if you want the one I have with the scarf, you have to find a particular enemy on this map. Uh, the Black Veil Pirates. Uh, so you want to find a room with three of them, so this one's not a good idea. Uh, here's two of them in a room, not the best. You want to find three in a room. Here we go, three in a room. So you come to a room like this and you just farm these guys. They all, even if they look different, they still drop the scarf as long as they're called the Black Veil Pirates. They will drop the scarf and of course it is a AC item. You store in your bank for free. Let's move on to the next drop. All right, for number two, we have the Vampire Armor. A lot of people would have got this because it was a drop from the turn-ins at the war and that is how you get it. It looks very cool on both female and male characters. Uh, that's what it looks like right there on the female character. And of course, I'm not wearing a helmet with it. But the helmet I just showed you how to get from the last thing, the scarf. It looks really nice on it. So as you can see, it matches perfectly with a little bit of red on there. And then a the little bit of red on the scarf. Matching perfectly. To get this, what you want to do is go to Midnight Crown. And do the same thing we did last time. Just go to the war. But this is a lot easier. Eh, not It's about the same difficulty. All these items are about the same difficulty. So you just want to run in here. Uh, just go to the uh, left twice. And these full moon pirates. Yeah, You have to farm them until you get the bounty. You need a bounty from them. Uh, the big bounty. So they'll drop full moon bounties like this. And they'll drop huge ones. Uh, once you have enough huge full moon bounties. Uh, just click the button right here. It'll turn it in. And it, it the armor is a random drop from that. From clicking the turn in button so once you turn in that completes the quest and it's a random drop from that quest so good luck on farming this armor let's move on to the last and final drop okay so you may have noticed that i've been using a weapon that isn't available in the game this whole video um it hasn't de-equipped or anything it's uh this is a bug in the game currently where if you have a pain saw random times it's the first time it ever happened to me it turns into the evolve pain saw for some reason uh, it's probably a bug with like this server rewrite or something like that. I don't know uh, But as you can see I just it's just a normal pain saw right? Uh, but I have to unequip it to show you the last item and uh, sad face RIP evolved pain saw you will be missed one day We will have that weapon. I don't know why it's unreleased still 
They showed it off years ago and it's still unreleased. Number one on the list is the Dual Lycan Spirit Katanas. These things are beastly looking. They look very nice and they are a free AC item, which is insane. You'd be silly not to pick these up from the event. Uh, they go very good with every, almost every set because they're black and there's almost black on every set as you can see from this random person that's in my house. He's got black on his set and he's not even trying. So uh, you can probably put these with any set you want and they especially go good with the set I'm showing you in this video. I guess it's a set but it's just three random drops to pick from. Now this is why I, why I like the wiki. Ah, katana means sword in Japanese. You get fun facts like that. That is... <laughs> Everyone knows. So there's a single version of it uh, that I also have, but I haven't enhanced because it's a single version. It's also an AC item you can get. The single one you get from uh, turning in the Black Veil, uh, so turning in the Lycan bounties. That's how you get the single version. And the dual version is acquired uh, by farming the Full Moon Pirates. So if you don't know where the Full Moon Pirates are, you just go back to the Midnight, this place, and you go to the War again, and then... Uh, the best way to farm it would be to go to the left twice in the same place I showed you how to farm before. All of these drops will drop in the same place as these guys are the Full Moon Pirates. They will drop these dual katanas. They won't drop the single version of the katana. You have to do that uh, by killing the Black Veils and then turning them in. Uh, the turn in right here, that's the turn in for the single version. Hopefully that explains it. They drop from that. And that is the three best drops from TLAPD in my opinion of course you might have a different opinion I'll leave your top three favorite drops in the comment section down below I'm actually interested uh, whether uh, maybe you like the ninja pirate maybe the lunar pet I still haven't got the lunar pet I, I gotta farm for that more I guess I don't know where that drops I'll have to figure out where that drops and farm for the lunar wolf pet there is a free AC pet here I might make a separate video on that uh, later this week maybe but, thanks for watching the video guys, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down below your thoughts on what your three favorite items were, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.